Hi Jeffs, this is my second video. As I mentioned at the end of the last video, I was going to create a video about uh, fixing the Sega Master System. Uh, well, I said Master System last time, it's actually the Sega Master System 2 as you can see. Um, hopefully this video will be a little bit better than my last one, considering the last one was done on a digital camera instead of um, an actual video camera. Having said that, this isn't actually a video camera either, this is a webcam, but this is a Microsoft uh, Lifecam Cinema, I think. Either way, it's relatively high quality, and now that I've got a working laptop, I can um, I can shoot videos in high high definition, supposedly. Having said that, if you put it up any higher than 640 by 360 pixels, it turns around and has a really bad spaz attack because this laptop just isn't fast enough to do that. Now, if you have, have picked up a Master System 2, I've got an old one, and for whatever reason you can't tune into the TV. Um, well, it's turned on, of course. Uh, chances are you've got the same problem that I had. Now, there's the easiest way to fix it, if you're lucky, is just to replace the voltage regulator, which is a little piece of equipment, well, a little, little device, that looks like this. Now, this one is a KA7805A. Now, all that means is it takes in up to an amp, and it um, puts out 5 volts only. So it can take anything, well, within reason, above 5 volts, but only put out 5 volts for the circuitry. Now, if you're unlucky, like I am, that's not the problem, where the rest of the circuitry is, uh, for the, the voltage circuitry has gone a bit strange. So to fix that, um, I'll show you how I've done that on mine, um, but what you need for that is some wire. Now, I'm not entirely sure of what gauge it should be, but um, I've used um, high voltage, high amp well, low voltage, high ampage wire from um, a PC power supply that's used to sort of providing 12, uh, 12 volts at God knows how many amps th uh, through one wire. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how I've done that in a second anyway. Alright, um, I've now taken out all of the all of the screws and taken the top off the, um, the mass system itself. Now, this is the circuit board, or the motherboard rather. Um, this bit here is a mod that I've done, but I'll expl like I said, I'll explain that at the end. It's very, very simple. Um, come on. Right. Now, like I said, the voltage regulator is what is probably, probably the cause of um, your system not working. So if you replace that first, that should fix it if you're lucky. If you're unlucky like me, um, it won't be if if it's not just if it's not just that then it might be that and something else it might just be something else. So flipping the board over, you can see I've done some um, rewiring of my own here um, using relatively heavy duty cables. I don't know if I mentioned that already, um, but yes, um, I'll uh, I'll put up the wiring diagrams for this uh, later on. I mean I've got some some photos of the uh, of the motherboard which I can point out. Uh, exactly where I've soldered uh, stuff to and where I've desoldered stuff from. For example, you have to you have to isolate the positive input um, and the switch down here, which is uh, that bit there. Uh, come out of the way. That bit there um, to get this mod to work. Um, so, for instance, up here, you see this trace here that comes off the positive lead. It goes to a solder point there, uh, which originally led to a um, a diode, which across the other side, which uh, jumped to this point here. Anyway, I've had to remove that and had to remove um, the other because uh, that's again that's another positive um, terminal there. I had to remove them both, but I'll point out which ones have been removed anyway, and uh, you can you'll be able to do it f uh, do that from there, and uh, hopefully do this mod if you're if you're unlucky like I am. All right. To, uh, to go back to the LED mod that I told you about, what what I've done is I've taken a black lead for the uh, ground and a red lead for the positive, which is this is this is going to the common. Or it's, uh, this is labeled I, C, and O. I's input, C is common, and O is output. So every the input can be anything, any voltage. So we know that the input voltage is going to be five volts and up to five hundred milliamps, which is what the um, the back of the device says that it's supposed to take. However, um, yeah, this particular voltage regulator can supply more than 500 milliamps, up to up to one amp or so a thousand milliamps. 
So, to go through what I've done, two leads coming off it. Um, the black lead has nothing attached to it. Uh, the red lead does. Um, underneath this um, electrician's tape, there's two, 220 ohm, I think, resistors uh, put together to create 400 and 440 ohms, which is close enough to the 470 that's that should be put in for um, for an LED circuit to keep one LED working. And this is just a plug. It's just to make it a little bit more convenient for when I take the machine apart. Um, other end of the plug is there, so just plug together and um, power the LED really. Um, but yeah, I'll put it back together now and show you how it's done. Again, I'll um, I'll put up links to um, various uh, schematic, well, schematics, but uh, diagrams, if, if you would, of um, how to uh, how, how to do this mod yourself. Christ, I didn't realise how messy it was down here. Anyway. I've uh, plugged it all up now to the TV. Um, hopefully, you can see a bit. Well, you can see a bit of the TV in the shot. Not a huge amount. Anyway, um, one of the things I was going to mention um, is that the system itself says on the back that you should use a nine volt adapter. However, it automatically pulls that down to five volts. So I don't know whether that was intentional or whether they were using reusing an, an old design or a, a Japanese design where they, they put in a 9 volt adapter or well having said that the plugs over here would be different anyway so either way I recommend that you use a 6 volt adapter for this it can provide 500 milliamps or over um, yeah I'm using a universal adapter I'm just in shot there behind the leg of the TV <laughs> but it's uh, yeah set the 6 volts it can provide 500 milliamps Anyway, just to move you a little bit to one side, right, so now it's all been uh, wired up um, and plugged in, all we can do is flick the switch. I can't see that very well. But yes, uh, so there we go, it works with Sonic built in. Now, that's all well and fine, um, but when I picked it up, I didn't know what sort of game it had because the guy said it was broken, so what did I pick up? Sonic the Hedgehog. Anyway, so never mind, I'll get myself some more games off eBay in a bit. But apart from that little mishap, I seem to have done well, I think. Um, hopefully you should... Uh, you should be able to do the same thing. Hopefully that's uh, I've fixed, fixed someone's problem about their old uh, console not working. Anyway, I think I'm going to go and play some Sonic now. This.